Hey everybody, what's up? ChiliDo27 here, bringing you more Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we got the info bot for Blark Station, took down the lieutenant, and basically just did everything on um, the walking side of Eudora. And in this episode, we'll be doing one thing in the Blark Station Nebula. Yeah, I kept this video short, mostly just because in the next episode, I'm going to get everything in the Blark Nebula done, and I want to keep it all even and everything like that. So you want to use your trespasser on this thing, solve this puzzle. It's actually not that hard. Just uh, make sure everything's aligned all in the middle, just like this. And yeah, now this I'm gonna do this first. This is the Clank section. Yes, Clank is a playable character in this game, and uh, he's actually maintained that sort of staple throughout the series. Anyways, um, in this part you're gonna be exploring the outside of the Blark Station. Um, yeah, you see all of this useless hardware here. Now there's something I need to explain. In this part, is this is impossible. Okay, there's literally no explanation you can offer this as to why Clank is able to walk outside like this. There's no gravity in space, so he would simply float away. If there is artificial gravity on this station, he would not be able to jump off or anything. He would not be able to fall off or anything. He would just, you know, walk around, I guess. He would just warp around, like, you know, in uh, Super Mario Galaxy. If he was being held on here by magnets, he wouldn't be able to jump at all. So, there is no explanation you could give to this. Anyways, uh, yeah. You know what, Clank's just awesome like that. Yeah, he's so awesome, he punches frogs and they explode. That is freaking cool. Anyways, um, yeah, it's not really worth your time to so much break these boxes, because they only contain like 10 bucks a piece. It's not really, you know, so much worth your time, I'd say. Um, next thing you want to do is, I think you want to come up here, I'm not sure. Um, wait a minute. Um, oh, no, 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 you don't want to come up here. Ah, dang it. Failure. Okay, going back to, whoa, oh no, oh jeez, don't, don't, no. <laughs> great. Which is great. Anyways. Yeah, just, you want, it, uh, a couple episodes ago I couldn't walk in a straight line, now I can't walk in a curved line, what the heck. Yeah, and when you die, the enemies respawn. Just loverly. Really. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is, you, um, you know, well, I've already been back this way, I just died, so I have to do it all over again. Thanks, Insomniac. Thank you very much. Okay, so you want to go to the other side. Yes, the other side that I was thinking of before. Okay, I'm going to make real sure not to fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Do not fall off. Yeah! <laughs> okay. That was scary. <laughs> I'm afraid for my life. Yeah, and in this po yeah, now we figure out that Clank is freaking slow. Yeah, slowest wall shimmy I've ever seen on any video game character ever in the history of ever. Anyways, you're gonna notice that um over there to the other side of the chasm there was a gold bolt, but I really have no idea how to get it. I mean, if anybody does post a video response or whatever, I I would love to find that out. Anyways, these things here are called Gadgetbots. In the sec in the you know Ratchet and Clank 2, they're called Microbots, but I just always call them Gadgetbots because hey, you know, they don't even change the look of them at all. When they call them Microbots, they they just say, "Oh, now they're Microbots." Doesn't make any sense, but you know, Insomniac's just stupid like that. Anyways, what you need to do is uh, select the enter command from your Gadgetbots menu, and just, you know, send them in there. Easy peasy, lemon, easy peasy, living greasy. Oh yeah. I really don't know where I heard that saying before, I know that I just have. Anyways, this thing here is called the Hydro Displacer. It's not a weapon or anything, it's just a, it's just a gadget. Basically, when you see a faucet anywhere, you can drain the water out of that particular area. When you see a little pump in the ground, 
you can put it back. Actually, wait, no. When you see a little pump in the ground, <coughs> you can uh, drain stuff. You can drain the water out of that area. And with uh, faucets, you can just put the water back. It's basically just a puzzle. <coughs> puzzle solving element. Doesn't make. Jeez, why do I keep saying that? It doesn't make any sense. Jeez, this is freaking Ratchet and Clank. It's about a robot and a freaking Lombax who travel through space trying to save the world from industrial takeover. Nothing about that makes sense. Anyways. Hmm, well. I found this. Hey, cool. It's a, uh, uh, what is it? A hydro displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those. Yes, another ridiculously oversized handgun. Anyways, so um, that just about does it for this episode. Um, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we will be further exploring the Blarg Station, taking down a boss, and probably whacking a couple hundred frogs. So hard that they explode. Alright, see you guys then.